It's the start of a brand new year, guys. Happy New Year. And I know you clicked on this video because you want to start creating more opportunities for yourself. Kudos to you and sincerely, I want to give you a pat on the back for making this great first step. In today's video, let's talk about eight different high paying jobs that you can learn and do remotely. It doesn't matter what you took up in college or even if you went to college for that matter. These jobs will not require any licenses or special skills. Everything on this list is something that you can either learn for free here on YouTube or also via a paid training course. Before we get started, just do me a favor and hit the like, share, subscribe, and notification bell so that we can let you know the next time we have a new video up. And with that said, let's get right into our money list. The first job idea that I have for you is as a website or app tester. If you're the kind of person who always seems to have a comment about things that you encounter, then this may be a job for you to consider. You don't need to be an engineer or even have technical skills to pull this kind of a job off. All you need is to go through an app or a game or a website as a user and explain your experience in as much detail as you can. You can make comments on which parts features or experiences you liked and which you didn't appreciate and so on. Plus points if you're able to offer suggestions and tips for improvement as well. The point is to share your perspectives and experiences as honestly as possible so that you can help brands and individuals improve their products and services. One platform that you can apply in to do this job is called user testing and you can earn $4 for every 5 minute test, $10 for every 20 minute test and between 30 to 120 US dollars for live interviews. Other platforms doing this are TryMyUI.com and UserFeel. So I suggest that you try all of these out to get access to as many tests as you possibly can. The second job I have for you is as a virtual assistant. Virtual assistants are all the rage these days and for good reason too. Because of the pandemic, many businesses are shifting online and even individuals who provide services are able to do so much more with the help of virtual assistants. VAs provide back-end and administrative services to clients while working from a completely remote location. And the tasks that a VA can offer differ widely depending on the client's nature of business. But to give you an idea, these can include answering emails, scheduling meetings, contacting suppliers, and a little bit of social media management, research, and other things. So as an independent self-employed VA, you'll want to discuss details thoroughly with a potential client before accepting a gig, and you can definitely find clients on freelance job sites like Upwork or Fiverr. VA agencies also seem to be sprouting everywhere and you might want to consider submitting your resume to these agencies at the same time as you're applying to Upwork and Fiverr just to increase your chances of landing a job. I also personally know some people who handle more than one client at a time but this would depend on the time and effort that a client would need for you to spend on his or her business. Standard rates usually fall between 10 to 20 bucks per hour. Job number three is as a bookkeeper. It's a common misconception that to be a bookkeeper, you'll need to be an accountant, but they're completely different. Bookkeepers don't need to be financial professionals or licensed accountants at all. Instead, they work with CPAs who do the actual filing of taxes. And on a day-to-day -day basis, bookkeepers would simply file and collate everything into accounting software like QuickBooks so that when the time comes, the accountant can do his job. A lot of people who are just starting to do business online or offer some kind of service actually do the bookkeeping themselves to cut on costs. But as their business grows, this service tends to be outsourced. There are some non-negotiables to be able to pull this off and look for clients to serve in this industry, but with diligent study and some practice, it's actually not half as hard as it sounds. Some questions that you can ask yourself to see if you would be a good fit for this job would be, are you meticulous and do you pay close enough attention to details? Are you careful and cautious? If so, then you might want to take a quick study of QuickBooks and basic bookkeeping because it can make you between $20 to $30 an hour from the comfort of your home. And once you do, I recommend that you look for CPAs that you can offer your service to. 
A lot of them do offer bookkeeping as a service to clients and they simply outsource this same service to freelancers. So as online businesses continue to grow, so does the demand for this job. You can also check out freelance websites like Upwork or Fiverr to look for clients to offer your services to. Yes, yeah, so if you think your personality is a match, and then definitely you should consider taking bookkeeping courses and getting started on this. Transcription jobs just keep increasing as more and more YouTube channels and podcasts are created each day. And what this job entails is putting audio and video files into text. It's honestly not that hard to do as long as you can type at least 50 words per minute, which is the average typing speed of the transcriptionist, then you should be able to qualify for jobs on platforms such as Rev.com. And while it's true that YouTube does have automated captioning for its videos, they're often pretty inaccurate. I suppose it's because the AI can't really distinguish words spoken with an accent, so unless a content creator or podcaster speaks Native American English, then outsourcing the transcription is something that content creators are willing to spend on because it actually helps them repurpose their material and make more money in the long run. Transcription jobs should pay you around 70 cents per audio minute that you transcribe. And besides the 50 word per minute typing speed that I mentioned earlier, you also need to understand English and be able to follow the style guide that your client or the company that you'll be working for uses. Proofreading as a job for someone who's a native English speaker or who has an advanced English level can pay pretty damn well. The job would entail that you review documents for grammar, spelling, and style, as well as do fact checks for accuracy. And rates start at around $15 per hour and can go up to 20 bucks. There are a ton of these jobs available. Again, you can check out freelance job sites like Upwork or Fiverr. Another profession that seems to have a growing demand is video editing. Depending on your skill set and what you can do, the rates can range widely from 10 to 75 bucks per hour. If you can add text overlays, cut videos, call or grade them, then you can start at 10. But if you can do animations and graphic renditions, then 75 per hour is totally doable. If you're an artist, a photographer, a videographer, if you write music, whatever it is that you create, there's a high chance that you can sell your work online if you aren't already doing it. For example, if you create music, then why not try and sell your music through digital retailers like iTunes, Amazon, and Google Play. Many music fans will want to buy new music from a store that they already know and trust where they already have a credit card on file and they know that the platform is compatible with their music library. So as a photographer or videographer, you can go ahead and sell your pictures and videos on sites like Shutterstock and make money instead of just posting them on Instagram. Last but definitely not the least, you may have guessed this already, but YouTube can actually become a legitimate high paying job on its own. If there's a certain topic that you enjoy talking about, take your phone or camera out, record yourself and keep doing this consistently for a year as many times in a week as you possibly can and you'll be able to gain traction and an audience. I promise this YouTube thing gets much much easier the more you do it. Now I'm not promising that any of these jobs will be easy. Is anything in life really easy anymore? I think not. But the point is, if you put in the work and suck it out even when the going gets tough, you will see progress, you will see your confidence and your skill set improve, and these should greatly help you on your way to achieving all of your goals. Let me know in the comment section below which jobs you're most excited about, or if you want to suggest something that I forgot to mention, then by all means, please do. I welcome comments and suggestions and read each and every one that you guys leave for me. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and I wish you the best, most productive year yet.